Hello everybody, WinkyFace14 here and welcome back to another episode of the FTV Sky Sackford series. This is episode number 50. That's crazy, we're at 50 now. That's actually truly insane. We're at episode 50. As you can see, I have the fusion reactor controller, the fusion reactor port, and the fusion reactor frames. Well, enough frames to build a fusion reactor but we're not gonna do that yet not today yet not yet well this episode but not yet because i'm gonna do something real quick before we jump into the fusion reactor okay you guys get it you guys get it okay so in between episodes i upgraded the turbine into a 11 by 11 by 18 big of a turbine just to accompany our um fusion reactor right here that is going to be water cooled mind you i also have a laser amplifier ready to shoot 400 million fe into the fusion reactor if need be so it just needs like a, a little pulse to uh, shoot the laser into the reactor and i also started making deuterium and tritium which is pretty freaking nice now of course those are those things are just like the little components that I can do in between episodes but uh, I also crafted all of the things like I said the fusion reactors the reactor glass all of that stuff we can do that right but uh, I also want to continue I also made some fish slices so that's pretty nice um I want to continue our journey with the end game stuff so I want to I already have the precision mechanism if I remember correctly I crafted that in like a few episodes ago so we can uh, supply that i don't have the crystallized thing but i already automated it there you go and this guy is actually made back here here yes so i have the super cooler right here we have a lot of cryo fuel <laughs> so that's pretty much good we have this guy going There you go, and then uh, this is gonna cook over time. They also made some flawed budding surge quartz, which is just throwing a block surge quartz with three charged surge quartz crystals. So that's pretty nice, and we can just enrich them. And but I mean, but I also they upgraded all of our factories into ultimates uh, since I've been AFKing in this spot. And uh, well, <laughs> I have 14 ultimate tiers here, so that's pretty nice. A lot of ap 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 apotic boss summoners and a lot of compact machines. I just have this guy here. If I have to AFK, just go inside here, hold the flower, and all the bees will go here, like near me, and it will this will collect all of the items. Pretty nice. Hi, I have 20. What I was, uh, I forgot what I'm gonna do. Okay, the flawless there you go the budding crystal should be nice i want to make the squidding pasta i already have all of the stuff here so that should be the squid ink pasta vegetable noodles is two carrots and cabbage do i have a cabbage i don't have a cabbage but i can grab some cabbage is this cabbage no but i do need cabbage so let's, uh, let's grab a cabbage. I need some bone meal. Half of that. Just grab as much as I can. And then there you go. So I do need one cabbage. I think I need two carrots if I remember correctly. Two carrots as for the vegetable noodles. So one cabbage, two carrots, and then a mushroom. Which I think, is it just brown? Okay, one brown mushroom. Which we do have right here. Oh god, the lag is real. Uh, Sorry, the mushroom, I think that's it. So this one, this one, this one, this one, and that one. We got the squeezing pasta, and I think I'm just gonna put this uh, cabbage roll here for more food. And then we need the roast chicken, which is dang, we got it. Man, it's pretty simple. Just need to oh, 
Okay, very good. And we got this guy, that guy, and that guy. We're also going to get more induction providers and cells. So that's pretty nice as well. Uh, we're really close to this guy. So I could expand. Here's the thing. I could expand our battery bank here. Because we're going to get... How many are we going to get? We're going to get eight cells. And then four providers. Do I have more induction casings? I don't think so. Oh, we got this guy as well. Do we have a lot more induction casings? We kind of do. Let's get like 32 more. It's not that bad. Hey, got this guy. Bada bing. Oh, that, that. Bada bing, bada boom. Nice. Ooh, we're gonna get... Ooh. Okay, 64 lumium ingots. Ooh. 64. Dang. Can do that. Easy. So we got that one quest... And then we're gonna... Oh, we need an infused hell shelf. Okay, we got this guy. Oh, this is gonna... Oh, this is going to be a pain in the butt. Yep. Gem dust is just gems. Okay, that's... Oh, I think we can do this. Yeah, we can do that. But I'll do that next episode. We're gonna do one overpowered quest per episode so that we can do one at a time. And, uh, ooh, these are all doable. And, ooh... Maybe I can do two, two, two quests or three quests next episode. I want to get these guys ASAP as well. So, there's that. Ah, okay. So, uh, I think it's time to get the fusion reactor. Fusion reactor. Let's get these guys. I need the uh, reactor glass. Yep. And I think we need the whole room as well. I forgot about that. Is this this one? Okay. Okay. I think we're pretty much good. I think we, I can just uh, set, get that recipe set. Okay. I let's get that recipe set and ah my keyboard stop okay hold on we can get this guy oh refined glowstone though refined glowstone oh easy easy peasy let's go here for the whole room now there's gonna there's going to be one issue for this I need to get a little bit of DT fuel. And uh, where do I put this again? Is it here? Here. Yep. So I need to get... <laughs> oh boy. Okay. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna destroy all of this. Because... Uh, this is going to be... Hopefully I have enough. That's the... Hope that I have enough. <laughs> okay. So, our goal is to just get the... There you go. Now, this is not going to be all of the things. So, we need to put the DT fuel. I think I'm going to put the DT fuel over here. Since we already have the... Uh, what do you call this? We already have the quantum entangle porters ready to go. Those guys will be there. Then I'm gonna need water input. I think for the for the steam input, I'm gonna put it. Oh, the water will be here. I think the steam. I mean, I'm just gonna put the steam here because here's the thing. For the steam input, or for the steam output, we're gonna use another quantum entangle porters. Uh, entangle porters, which I think I do. I do. I have. Yeah. Yes. I I came prepared. And uh, we just fill out all of the spaces. Hopefully we have enough. It's a bit laggy though. Oh boy. Bop, 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 bop. If you guys... Oh, it's not enough. Oh, dang it. Can I put... Wait, can I put... No way I can put things here. No, I am still out of...
Wait, I'm still out of things though. Okay. I need one, two, two, four. I need six more fusion. Uh oh, what do I not have? I don't have sand. Wait, I don't have sand? That's crazy. That is insane. Oh, that's actually insanity. There you go. Thank you very much. Just get the uh, eight. Uh, one, two, three, four. There you go. We still have like 104 hours. That's fine. Oh, also, I added a uh. Oh my gosh. A redstone be here. It should give us a continuous flow of redstone for this drawer. Uh, since we have two drawers of redstone. And uh, this is a bit of a... Yeah, we're kind of... Uh, I guess stuck there, I guess. I suppose. <laughs> so yeah. We're gonna continue building uh, this thing i think it should be done right now no how long is this should be done oh it's not <laughs> oh, it's so long i mean it should be done in a second there you go we got three yes neum dust crafting it should be quick okay look at that wow it's actually crafting okay pretty nice we're cooking a platinum and i think yeah, the advanced control circuits are there. It's crafting, so we can just uh, let's go inside that actually, and then let's see which is not crafting. I also added a chunky turtle here to chunk load this this uh, compact machine. Where is the? There you go. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's go back out and we should be not good yet oh i'm gonna go here and one two three we don't have enough we need one more set come on okay we are crafting it in the quantum assembler and bam nice and boom oh <gasps> it's working okay we do need a whole, whole, whole ROM. And it is craftable. I'm gonna let that craft. And then I will be right back. Oh, I also need the chemical... Is it the chemical... Uh, infuser? Is it this one for the DT fuel? It is. So we're gonna get that. Chemical infuser, craft that one guy. And I will be right back with all of that stuff crafted. And we're gonna set up. And uh, hopefully we have enough things to do everything. So yeah. I'll be right back. <laughs> I don't know why I'm making this super long, but I'll be right back. Okay, I did not anticipate this to be that quick, but uh... Well, there it is. We got that guy. I'm gonna go here first at the... This... Oh, shoot, dude. Can I just grab... Okay, you know what? I can't do anything about it. What am I gonna do? You know. Let's get the gases and gases. Oh wait, is it not auto outputting? Oh it's not. Okay, and you auto gas boop. There you go, we got some DD fuel running. How many do I need? Ready for a reaction. There you go. It's done. Got it. <laughs> And is that really how fast this is going to be? That's crazy. I think I need one more. Okay, so oh shoot. 
Okay, I get it. We're, we need we need a little bit more, actually. There's a deuterium and tritium here. This is the deuterium. This is the tritium. Deuterium, tritium. At the back, we're gonna output that stuff. And at the back, we're also gonna output that stuff. And they should... Fuel is not going in. Let's just do two. Let's get four. No, let's get two. So these are not going out of it. Why is that? This is the input. Oh wait, do I have to have like some sort of like, you know. Do I have to have like, you know, like a pipe or something? I can't just connect it. Okay, I guess so. So we got the pressurized. We still have the basic one. Well, we can have these guys such for fun. Let's get this guy. I mean, that's fine to be quite honest. Let's get the gases here. Wait, am I doing this correctly? Wait, give me... I'm, I know that this is like the right setup, but... Okay, there's that. Can be replaced with reactor glass. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's it. That's... I did the right thing. Um, why are you not... Oh, it needs to be like that? That's crazy. Well, we got it. We got the fuel going in here. I'm gonna set up a big water tank below here. So I'm gonna expand this platform over here. Then I'll be right back again. It's gonna take a lot because I, I want to maximize the steam production of this fusion reactor. Because here's the thing. It's gonna eat up like a big amount of like energy or it's gonna eat up a lot of water and produce a lot of steam i don't know if it's gonna explode but it could we're at the one billion here that's crazy so yeah i'm gonna try let's get another input actually a uh, fusion reactor i want another reactor port now why do i want another reactor port i want another one because I want to have another thing like maybe here or probably oh oh here probably here because I want to get another point I also need another uh turbine vent I just realized that yep I also crafted a lot of the turbine stuff because uh I maxed it I built this first into like a 17 by 17 but then I realized the cap is 18 high and any and then I just had to build it, you know. I used, uh, shoot, I forgot. I used this guy. Here it is. And the maximum width length is 17, but the height is 18. So when I lower this width length, the rollers is not, you know, it's not going down. Until I go from 11 to 9, it now it went to 13 rollers instead of 14. So this is my maximum size. And then we're not gonna use any condensers because why not and our maximum production for this one is 197 million again million fe per tick so that's pretty freaking cool and that's like just basically just the the max production and if i need more i can just have another one built here just like what i what i did with uh with the atm uh, volcano block all the mods volcano block I, I just built a lot of turbines to maximize the usage of steam that is being produced by the fusion reactor so yeah uh these are gonna take longer than i thought it would so i will be right back uh, while uh, waiting for those guys, I'm gonna set up also the water tank like this. Like these guys. But uh, we're just gonna have a lot more of the logic cables. But the thing is, I could also move it. Or I could also connect it to here. And just like expand 
this guy even further just have like multiple layers or something we'll see what i'll do but i think it's much easier if i do it like that. <gasps> oh i almost by broke it yeah i i can just like connect that to here so that it's not gonna be a problem it's also easier for me because i can just like do this and do that and bada bing bada boom we got a little that's the closest cable that we have so yeah I will be right back and uh, we're gonna have this guy up and running or we're gonna start the reaction for the fusion reactor uh, when we come back okay Woo, we got the things we got the turbine valve and the reactor port I do want to get the B what because of this B yeah okay Let's put away this B away. If you hear rain, it is raining. So, at the time of my recording, I am. Uh, it is raining. So hopefully, the audio is okay. <laughs> hopefully, all right. Let's uh, let's get this started. So I need. I haven't set up the thing, huh? Yep. Uh, I'm gonna add. Okay, let's connect this guy. You know what? I'm just, we're just gonna do a live connection because we have plenty of time for this episode. I can just do it live, you know? Let's do this. I need... I should probably automate the exporter stuff, but like, you know what? That's fine, I suppose. That is the out input. And I need cables. So this will be a fluid rate of a million. Thank you very much. And I want this to be priority negative one. And I want the priority to go over here. Oh boy, that's a lot. I want the priority for this to be a 10. Yes, priority 10 here because we need this to be cool. And then priority these guys are zero and then this is negative one wait no you know what this is should be priority one let's see how this will work oh man the rain is raining today jesus let's get this guy i think they're just gonna go for this connection right over am i wait oh there you go okay and uh, we got this guy going here. They're just gonna boop, 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 bop, bop, and uh, bop. Got two million water. We are pretty good here. All right. Uh, let's get the configurator right over here. Let's set this to output. Then I need another one right over here. I need a port here, which will be an output here. The whole ROM should be good. The deuterium is still good. Water is not doing well. I think I just need to like reconnect it since... Uh... Uh-oh. Is water going down here? Nope. Save water is nowhere to be found so that's sad dang it okay we don't have water that's kind of weird but we'll just uh we'll just do that water is still not going here let's prioritize this guy you know what let's i'm gonna add more tanks so it's much easier so i'm gonna add a new batch okay let me add something let me add a few more lines of tanks here and then uh, we're gonna start that fusion reactor going it doesn't look different right yeah it's kind of not it's 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 the same right yeah so i added 20 more tanks and also uh i upgraded uh our mecha suit while i was building those things i added all of the I guess like positive so i have the vision enhancement inhalation purification basically no harming potions we got electrolytic breathing unit basically infinite air and spray breathing unit all right i added that last episode uh we got the radiation shield wait no does fireproof acid proof and charge distribution unit for the body armor 
we got motorized servo unit uh, that is actually i think that is swift sneak we also got gyroscopic stabilization unit basically when we're flying we can just break we can just break blocks without you know without the flying penalty and uh, the hydrostatic repulsor unit basically depth strider and uh, this is the same we just added the gravity normalizing unit that's pretty good all right this should have no water still that's crazy hello oh that's why there you go that is pretty good that is pretty pretty good that should be nothing okay that's literally nothing okay why is there no oh do i have to like no do i have to break this and then put it back still not working what is happening here why is there no water why is there no water there's literally no water why there should be water. Uh-oh. Why is there no water? You know what? Let's just not think about it. Okay. Let's get a button. And we should be able to just place it here. Nope, we cannot. So I'm gonna put a cobblestone right here and bam. Oh, it's running! Oh, we need a point. Oh, we need a plug. Oh, is it running? It is running. Okay, we need a plug. ASAP right now. Oh, boy. What? 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 Okay. Flux. Capacitor. Okay. Let's get this going. Oh, boy. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. One, cook it quickly. Ah, come on, come on. We're halfway. Uh, flux. Uh, I need flux cores. Go. Come on, come on. <laughs> okay, got that. Boom. There. Flux. Plug, 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 plug. Okay. Ah. Okay. And generators. Boom. We're generating eleven thousand. But uh, I don't know why we're going down. It's not. Is it running? Well, it should be right. There's no issue with the casings or whatever. Right. Let's try, you know what, let's try, let's try six. There it is. There's the... Oh, there it is. There's the thing. Okay, it's now going up. Okay, we are now at 2,000, but we are generating a lot of steam, which is what's important. We need to have a, we need to have a good generation of steam. And that is that. So I need the quantum entangle porter. And this will be steam boom bada bing bada boom okay so we got steam here uh, i'm gonna disable this real quick i'm gonna disable this as well i think i'm just gonna put it right here so so that i can uh, i can tell and i want this to be steam as well now with gases at the back with an output out okay and now we are still going down i don't know why we are going down what okay, we, yeah we are generating eight hundred thousand fe right now and if we add this guy it's gonna go up to a million but we are going down whoa i am just very much confused why it is going down we're making steam the case is going down let's get 10 maybe that heats it up it doesn't heat up what is happening 
This is there is something going on. <laughs> there, I I caramba. <laughs> oh, why is this accepting power, ma'am, sir? No, you don't. You don't accept power, okay? You will output power here with a universal cable. And uh, you will just extract every inch of power we have there. Boom. What is... Why is it accepting power still? Okay, you know what? That's fine. We are going down in terms of power, but it's not... Well, I, I really don't get it. We go up. Wait, is thing going down here? Okay, water is going not going down there. Okay. What is happening? Is it still is this still going? It is generating five hundred thousand now. It's still going down. It's going down to this level, so I don't get this. Okay. We've added a ponder to teach. Okay, let me see here. This guy. Once it's built, power it with deuterium and tritium and start it with the laser. Aim that the focus matrix. Okay, let's get another whole ROM. Maybe I can... Uh, maybe we just need to start it up again. Because uh, it's very interesting. Let's get to 10 again. Because I don't think... We're, I think we're going to go down in terms of... Tr nope. We got an injection rate of 10... We got a plasma temp of okay, air cooled is we have a passive generation of 40k. But steam production is our main goal for this guy. Our main goal is to just have this produce a lot of steam so that we can just create a lot more power. Now, I do need another whole ROM since uh, we do have this guy. We got a little bit of DT fuel inside of here. It's gonna take us a few minutes. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna let this craft and then we're gonna try to restart the fusion reactor real quick. Okay, we're crafting. Okay, nice. Let's see here, let's get the DT fuel again. Uh, really good. And we're gonna start this again because why not? It's not doing the thing that i thought it would it starts up and then it goes out so i might have built this incorrectly and i'm gonna figure that out i'll be right back i don't i didn't think i would need to troubleshoot this but i guess i do so um uh, yeah i'll be right back i suppose I think I know what the issue was. So uh, if we look at the stats here, and if we look at the water cold, the minimum injection rate is 16. <laughs> and I had it at 10. So I changed it to 16. I'm gonna put it on 18 just in case. But let's have it on 18. So that we're pretty sure that it's above the minimum injection rate. And then let's see if it's, uh, it's gonna work. Oh boy. Okay. Yep, it is running. Ooh, boy, it is running. And we are producing 1 million FP per tick. Yes. The thing is, it's going to go up. It's going to continue to go up. We are going down in deuterium. We are also... Ooh, we're definitely going down in tritium. So what I might have to do is just increase the speed of the deuterium production because we are going down. Yep, we are going down here. So let's get some uh, upgrade. I have this whole room. I made two whole rooms just in case I like the first thing that I thought of didn't work, which is this guy. Exactly what I needed. I had the uh... yes. Yeah, so this is the deuterium setup. I have ten pumps. Popping into here and uh, it's just you know there you go it's now oh it's using five thousand water is going down which is fine 
how much upgrades this is speed okay uh i'll just add let's add uh, two speed and uh four energy i just want to increase just have a net positive of heavy water and the usage so we are now producing 32 deuterium per tick i would suppose and then Oh, it's still not enough. Oh, man. Is it really not enough? Oh, dang. Okay, let's add... Let's add maybe... How many? Okay, let's add... Eight. Why not? <laughs> let's add eight to the first pump. Because uh, the thing with this is that we, have, we can add up to 16... Oh, sorry, 64... Uh, amount of upgrades so the speed and energy that's like what we can do to increase the speed instead of like adding a lot more <laughs> a lot more machines we can just upgrade that one machine it will eat a lot of power but it's gonna be freaking fast but uh, you know what let's try this out boom we're only using 10 and we're using 4000 okay you know what let's add more let's add eight more to the second pump all right, I think that's gonna be it. We did the one thing that I set out to do today, which is getting the fusion reactor running and have the steam turbine utilize that steam that is made in the fusion reactor. And we now have a bajillion and a lot, you know, just a lot of power just by today. So next episode, <laughs> hey, I know we're gonna look forward to the next episode. We're gonna go to the end. Yes, we're gonna go to the end. And uh, we're gonna fight the Ender Dragon. Hopefully, we can kill the Ender Dragon. That's that's a hope. And uh, there you go, net positive. Look at that. We're using four thousand FE. That's fine. Let's go back. So with this, with this guy, with this little guy running perfectly, Tritium still net positive. Deuterium is definitely in the net positive. We're gonna end the episode here. Everybody's enjoyed. Woo! We're gonna go to the end of the next episode. Oh man, I did. I, I was thinking I was gonna, this is going to be like a 28 to 30 minute episode. It turned out to 37. Dang it. That's fine. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna end the episode here so that uh, next episode we're gonna fight the dragon. And also, I started the plutonium production since uh, I don't think we need any more polonium. We, we, well, we do have like 143, so we can just. You know, this is for the SPS, I would say. Yeah, we're gonna have the SPS running uh, maybe in the future, not today. We're gonna fight the dragon first, though. Look at this. This is actually crazy. We now have 1.6 million FE per tick. And this guy can handle it. This guy can actually handle it. It can handle up to 209 million. Okay, we're gonna stop here. I'm gonna stop here. Alright, good. Bye-bye. See you in the next one. Yay. Wee. I am going crazy right now. That's... Okay, I can't. <laughs> okay, goodbye.